Sports. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, the big story is that in his retrial today, Bill Cosby was found guilty of sexual assault. Yeah. You know, you know, in the Me Too era, it is gratifying to see a sexual predator, however powerful or popular, finally brought to justice. But we can't forget there is still, still plenty still at large. Speaking of which, Donald Trump called in... <laughs> Donald Trump called into Fox and Friends today. Got anybody see it? Anybody see this? Are you okay? Because the interview started strong, but then the president started talking. Good morning, and I picked a very, very special day because it's Melania's birthday. So I said, let's do it on Melania's birthday. <laughs> he also tried that line on Melania, no go. <laughs> then... It's a quality... Oh, it's, a family yeah, joke. Yeah. it's a quality family joke. Then the Fox and Friends asked the obvious follow-up. Do you want to tell us what you got her? Well, I better not get into that because I may get in trouble. Maybe I didn't get her so much. I'll tell you what, she has done... I got her a beautiful card. <laughs> You're a billionaire! You got your wife a card? Do you know what she puts up with? I think she's earned a shopping spree. I'm going to say around $130,000 worth. <laughs> That seems fair. Oh! Thank you. That's a good thing. That seems fair. Where did that come we actually from? That uh, we have acquired a copy of the card he gave her. <laughs> Merry birthday. <laughs> There's a GameStop uh, <laughs> GameStop gift card. There you go. Have one laying around. Then, okay, then the president and the Fox and Friends, they got down to business and talked about business. Michael is uh in business, he's really a businessman, a fairly big business, as I understand it. I don't know his business. Michael is a businessman. He's got a business. Probably the big thing is his business, and they're looking at something having to do with his business. I have nothing to do with his business. Yes, Michael is in business. He is in the business of business. As a businessman, his business is being in business, and it's none of my business, so... Who am I to be all up in his business? Business. Business. And when it comes to Russia, he never colluded. So the special counsel, and by the way, and intelligence committee and everybody else has found no collusion. There's no collusion with me and the Russians. Nobody's been tougher to Russia right. than I am. You can ask President Putin about that. Great argument. <laughs> I didn't rob that bank, just ask my getaway driver. <laughs> but Trump does know one thing. He doesn't know anything. I'm not involved, and I'm not involved, and I've been told I'm not involved. The nice, the nice man in the mirror told me I never colluded, <laughs> and that I am a very strong and good boy. <laughs> and then he got kind of handsy. <laughs> of course, Trump left the door open to firing Robert Mueller. And you look at the corruption at the top of the FBI, it's a disgrace. And our Justice Department, which I try and stay away from, but at some point, I won't. Oh, that's reassuring. Uh, this is your captain speaking. I have an extremely stressful job and a bottle of Jack Daniels, which I will try to stay away from, but at some point, I won't. <laughs> Foxies. He kept complaining about NBC and CNN, but explained that he doesn't watch the thing he spends every waking moment complaining about. I don't have time for two reasons. There's too much, and I don't have time. That's barely one reason. <laughs> Honey, I didn't take the trash out for two reasons. It's gross, and I didn't take the trash out. And when asked to give himself a letter grade, Trump showed his trademark humility. I would give myself an A+. Plus. Nobody has done what right. I've been able to do, and I did it despite the fact that I have a phony cloud over my head that doesn't exist. 
Sir, that's not a phony cloud. That's your hair. <laughs> Thank you very much. But this interview was insane. It was rambling. It was so loud. It sounded like he was shouting the whole time. I just had the image of an unbathed Donald Trump shambling around in his bathroom. <laughs> Neither Fox nor friend could get in a word edgewise. I would rather have the popular vote because it's, to me, it's much easier. It's a, to yeah, it's a totally different set of goals yeah, as opposed you know, to electoral but, college. But we have an electoral college. Right. I, I got 306, and she got, what, 223. So right. remember, there was no way to break 270. I heard right. that. Comey is a liar. Mueller is corrupt. Crooked Hillary deletes emails. And I'll take a large personal pan, meat lover's pizza, and an order of garlic knots with crazy sauce. Wait, who am I talking to? I forgot. <laughs> Hello? Is this... And the whole time, the whole time this is going on, the curvy couchlings just sat there stunned. <laughs> they're not, they're just, just mouth slacked, glassy eyed, mm -hmm. wondering what to do. And we at The Late Show have obtained exclusive recordings of the Fox and Friends inner monologues <laughs> while they listen to Donald Trump unravel. It's an absolute right. disgrace. And, and by the way, the only collusion is the collusion with the Democrats and the Russians. You take a look at what's going on there. Wow. This guy's off the rails. This is not good for democracy. Behold the scourge we have unleashed. We are all complicit in the evil we have wrought. And after... Got a hook. After 30 minutes, how long? 30 minutes of this? After 30 minutes, the host gently reminded the president that he has a job. We Thank talked to you, you all day, but it looks like you he have could. a million things to do. <laughs> We'd love to talk. We love, but I know you're busy, man. He got the president off the phone like an annoying relative. Well, okay, okay, yeah, uh huh. Well, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. yeah, we, we got a, a dinner. They're calling me, dinner's getting cold, uh-huh. Yeah, t talk soon, happy Thanksgiving, Grandpa. No, no, they're not all thieves. Remember, Nana found her ring, okay? All right, bye-bye. <laughs> but... He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. But after Trump got off the phone, Steve Ducey thought it went pretty well. I think he was awake, and yeah. he had a lot to say. <laughs> what a way, what a rave review. <laughs> he was conscious, and boy, making sound with the old face hole. <laughs> but in their defense, the Fox and Friends had to rush the leader of the free world off the phone to get to their actual next news segment, Buck's Famous Scrambled Eggs. <laughs> The secret ingredient is changing the subject.